Hi everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase Designer team. Today I'm going to go over the 2D measurement tool. This tool allows you to measure the distance between two objects on a face. Sometimes we call this tool the positional tool. And the reason why is that it also allows you to move an object a specific distance away from another project. But I'll get back to that later. Before we begin, I just wanted to review the coordinate system and how it determines the X and Y values. The coordinate system changes relative to the side of the enclosure that you're editing. For instance, if you're editing the outside of the front face, the X values and the Y values start from the absolute origin, which will be from the bottom left of the face. The absolute origin arrows are always red. You can always double check that you're using the absolute origin properly by looking at the bottom left corner inside the face editor. Move your mouse from the bottom left to the bottom right. Your X values will increase from zero as you move to the right, and your Y values will increase from zero as you move up. If you're editing the inside of the front face, your absolute origin is located on the bottom right of the face. Your X values will increase as you move left, and your Y values will increase as you move up. If you ever want to double check which side of the face you're editing, here's a tip. You can always look in the bottom left corner of your screen while using the face editor. So let's get started on how to use the 2D measurement tool. First, let's review how to measure between two distances on the face of an enclosure. To start, I'm going to choose an L-shaped template, and then I'm going to also hide the cover by checking the box on the right, just to make it easier. We'll go into the face editor by selecting it from the edit dropdown, or you can also choose the button on the left hand side. I'm going to choose to edit the outside face of the front panel that's showing. Inside the face editor, I'm first going to add two cutouts that we can measure. To keep things simple, I'm going to just place a rectangle and a circle cutout. Under the Tools section of the left toolbar, you can click the Measure button. Now, you can start by selecting the area of an object that you want to be your reference point. You can select any area, either part of an object or another space on the face that you're editing. In this particular case, we're just going to choose the center of the rectangle. You'll notice that the measurement circle will stay red until the software recognizes a key area of the object, such as the center or corners. Click the center of the rectangle and then select the area of the second object. In this example, we're selecting the center of the circle. Now that we've selected the objects that we want to measure the distance between, you can see in the right side panel that there's an X difference, which is the difference left or right, the Y difference, which is the difference above or below, and the total distance between the two points selected. You can continue measuring or hit escape to exit the measurement feature altogether. Let's move on to the second feature of the 2D measurement tool. As I mentioned earlier, we sometimes refer to the 2D measurement tool as the positional tool. The reason why is that you can also use this tool to move an object to be a specific distance in relation to another object. So let's go back to the earlier example. We can use the same cutouts that we placed and go back into the measurement tool. In this example, I want to move the circle cutout five inches to the right and three inches below the bottom right corner of the rectangle cutout. So, with the measurement tool selected, first select the anchor point, which in this case is the bottom right corner of the rectangle. From there, you want to select the center of the circle, which will be the point we want to adjust. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll see the X difference, Y difference, and distance are displayed. To move the circle five inches to the right and three inches below, we're going to change the X difference to five and the Y difference to negative three. Remember, the positive or negative values in the x-axis move the object left or right, and the positive or negative values in the y-axis move the object up or down. Everything is relative to the absolute origin inside the face editor. Okay, we've input those values, so now the circle will be in its correct location relative to the rectangle. Thanks everyone for checking out this tutorial about the 2D measurement tool. I hope you found it helpful. 
If you have any questions about this feature or any other part of Protocase Designer, please email us at info at protocasedesigner.com. Thanks for watching.